Hi everyone. This week we're going to be talking about color theory and your assignment is to build your own 3D color wheel using objects that you find around your house like this one. Hopefully it's there. I made this in my kitchen. Now mine is super elaborate. I don't expect you to have as many things in your color wheel as I do, but I just really was having fun and kept adding things to it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the color wheel and uh, how the colors relate to each other. You'll build one, take a photo of it, and post it to the Google Classroom. And next class, uh, we will also have a quick little quiz on some color theory that I, I talk about. So how do you make a color wheel like this? I'm so glad you asked. Let's find out. Okay, so let's get started with our color wheel. So first find a space to build your color wheel. And now we're going to start with the primary colors. Now the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. These are the colors from which all other colors can be made. And you can't uh, mix anything to make these colors. So uh, I would start building your color wheel by finding some red, yellow, and blue objects and placing them uh, with space in between them because these are going to kind of make a triangle and we're going to fill in the spaces between them with the other colors. So I'm adjusting mine now because I didn't think I had enough space. I'm going to keep moving them over. And now we're going to add the secondary colors. Now the secondary colors are made by mixing two primary colors together. So those are orange, purple, and green. So if you mix blue and yellow, you get green. If you mix red and yellow, you get orange. If you mix red and blue, you get purple or violet. They're the same thing. Now we're going to start filling in the sections in between those colors. These are called tertiary colors. And these are colors that have two names, like yellow-green, yellow-orange, red-orange, red-violet, blue-violet, and blue-green. Now tertiary colors are the ones in between a primary and secondary color. Now, when you name them, you always say the primary color first. So it's red, orange, and red, violet, never orange, red. Nobody says that. So when you're looking at your color wheel, these colors should blend one into the next all the way around. So think about the rainbow, but we're trying to fill in those gaps in between the rainbow. So to review, our primary colors are the colors from which all other colors can be made. There's a red, yellow, and blue. Our secondary colors are made by mixing two primary colors together. Those are orange, uh, violet, and green. And our tertiary colors are colors made by mixing one primary and one secondary color together. Uh, those are the hyphenated colors, things like yellow-green, yellow-orange, red-orange, red-violet, etc. Now on the color wheel, if you were to use all colors that were next to each other, that color scheme would be called analogous. Analogous means all colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Now, if you were to split this color wheel in half, you would get warm colors. Those are colors related to fire, like red, orange, yellow, pinks, things like that. And cool colors, cool colors are blue and violet and green. Now, if you were to draw a line directly across the color wheel, right through the center, you would get complementary colors. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel, like red and green, blue and orange, violet and yellow. If you want to dull a color, mix it with a little bit of its complement and you'll get a more muted version of that color. The most important thing at the end of the project is to put your name on a piece of paper in the center of your color wheel before you take a picture. If you send me a color wheel that doesn't have your name written in it, I won't accept it. All right, I hope you enjoyed making your color wheel. I know I loved making mine. I'm gonna put a couple more examples 
on the Google Classroom for you so you can check them out. Remember, yours doesn't have to be as elaborate as mine was, but if you're enjoying it and you find some cool stuff that, are, uh, that fit each color, you know, be my guest. I loved including uh, some things like my, my pop figures, Thanos is in there, The Flash, Captain America, The Hulk is in mine, uh, along with uh, food, I found things in the kitchen, in the pantry, um, art supplies, there's clothing, books, right, whatever you can find that fit those colors. So if you have one or two objects for each color, that's fine. The more you have, I think the more interesting it looks, but have fun with it, and if you have questions, please let me know. Take care.